Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your October mid-monthly reading. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new here, hello, hi, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you. All right, let's see what's going on for you for mid-October. We have a bunch of planets stationing direct on the 18th. We have the full moon in Aries on the 20th. So the end of the month for all the readings has had this one common collective theme of propelling forward. Okay, there is no more moments of stagnation for the most part. This is about, well, maybe for you there is. No, I'm joking. I don't think it's that. I think it's the pre-prep on how you're going to move forward. Yeah, because the Knight of Swords is station, like is pushing this forward. Okay, so you've got quite a, quite a, quite the end of the month of October. Okay, let's get the astrology and the um, mantra and see a little bit deeper what's going on. I think you're going to have to do a lot of work. Mm -hmm. so, this could be around your career, around your finances, around planning long term. All right. Growth. Yeah, definitely. Wow. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Growth and the second house, which is Taurian ruled. It's also Venus ruled. It's I have. It's the house of possessions, values, material wealth, um, belongings, finances. It's a, as well as the pillars uh, on which material, intellectual and emotional security is developed. Okay. So. I'm definitely seeing that your finances, your career, your business, is, and whatever that looks like, whether you work for somebody or you don't, that is at the forefront of middle of October to end of October, okay? How do I get from making 10K a month to making 20K? How do I get from making 2K to making 10K? Whatever, okay? You're feeling a little bit trapped here with that eight of swords. At least that's what's showing up in the cards. If it doesn't resonate, don't take it. But I feel like it's about you learning how to get out of your own monkey mind. You know, Saturn is um, traveling through the 12th house. The 12th house is the house of the undoing. It's deeply psychological, okay? And so maybe one of the things you're having to learn here is how you get out of your own head, how you stop creating um, this narrative inside your mind that um, oftentimes can hurt you or negatively impact you, okay? With the fool as well in the forest, or yeah, you gotta take a lot, look, here you are, honey. You're gonna be just fine, okay? You're gonna be just fine here. So don't don't fret, don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. All right. This is just the month where you're kind of having to do the hard work, right? It's like when you're building a home. Before you can decorate your home, before you can do all the pretty things to your home, you gotta do the work to take care of the home, right? You gotta handle the building the foundation the piping the this the that i don't know i i don't know I've never built a home so i'm just piping <laughs> but i am seeing that you're moving really quickly towards something here the first card that you have is the king of swords lots of mental action maybe a little bit of too much monkey mind okay so maybe that's the opportunity for you to meditate and sit down and kind of um, organize what's going on in your mind, maybe do to-do lists rather than just trying to like go, 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 which is very Sagittarian-like, all right? With the Six of Pentacles, I love this because it almost makes me feel like there may be people that will have conversations with you that will help you to get more balance into your life. Look for mentors, uh, support systems, psychologists, therapists, anybody that can help kind of guide you and direct you um, in how you can process this a little bit more balanced, whatever it is that you're going through. I almost feel like you're you're a little bit out of, out of sorts, out of, out of balance, and you're needing to learn how to create a little bit more balance into your life, okay? With the nine of wands, it's going to take some work. But look at that. There's a nine of pentacles, okay? So it's like the hard work will pay off. The hard work that you're doing to create balance and stability in your life is going to pay off. You're showing up here with the nine of pentacles, abundance, stability, creating your own wealth, okay? Having a very nice, comfortable, independent life, all right? But I think before you plan on moving forward, because that energy of the universe is really helping us to like, it's launching us forward, I guess is the right word. Yeah, launching us forward. And you have growth here. You have a lot of material abundance and wealth. I think it's important for you to talk to the right people. Get a financial planner. Um, 
talk to individuals on, on what to do with your money so that you can have that nice stability and that nice financial growth. All right, Sagittarius with the hanged one. I do feel like the end of the month may have you kind of in moments of contemplation, less doing, more observing, watching, pay attention to how people are talking to you, pay attention to how you're receiving information, pay attention to the different options that are available to you when it comes to your finances. Don't just jump to the first thing. Like don't meet one financial planner and be like, yes, you're mine. I'm, we're going together. Be open to change. Be open to the idea that maybe this is not the right person and that there's going to be somebody else that can support you, okay? Be open to all of those different things because I think in that openness, in that awareness, in that inaction, but actually like studying the people that are around you, you're going to find the right individuals to network with that will support you and propel you forward in your finances and your career. Okay, let's get into your love reading. If there is any pieces that I'm recommending to you, uh, definitely would say something like Venus, um, material wealth, abundance, second house, Taurus, for sure. It's got Morganite Barrel and Rose Quartz. This is a beautiful piece for my jewelry line, Star Sea Jewels. I create modern day amulets. I'm wearing a bunch here. So if you wanna pick up some, I create also necklaces and anklets and different bracelets that also are have more like gold filled rather than the elastic base. All the details are in the description box below at Star Sea Jewels if you wanna shop, all right? And if you wanna book a live one hour reading with me, ditto. Okay, and then here is the pyrite and the black tourmaline as well. Okay, that's best debt. Those would be the two pieces I'd recommend because abundance, money, love, material wealth, comforts, those that's the energy that you need to be surrendering and leaning into right now. All right, love yourself first, getting to know each other. That's okay. So maybe somebody is coming to make an offer for you around love, all right? Maybe you have kids, maybe they have kids, maybe you're thinking about kids, maybe they're thinking about kids. Um, but kids somehow play a role here, okay, um, on how you're going to approach this connection. Uh, can I just get one for getting to know each other, please? Okay, we're getting two, sure. So the Tower and the Page of Swords. Wow, okay. This actually might come out very unexpectedly. You might not necessarily um, be expecting somebody to message you. So expect the unexpected when it comes to like new romance this month, okay? Love yourself first. And the Nine of Cups. Yeah, you need to like, listen, you're on this energy of like very much loving yourself. I, I feel, you know, I would almost even recommend Aph Oops, Aphrodite as well. Um, that's this piece right here. It's got um, this beautiful big chunk of amazonite, rose quartz, and clear quartz. But I would almost turn around and say, like, the more you love yourself, the more you rock in your like energy, in your beauty, in your presence. Whether you're masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. But like, the more you're taking care of you and looking good and looking fresh and looking on point, the more romantic partners that will be attracted to you. Okay, it's like when you're vibrating at that frequency, people can't help but look at you and be like. Mm -mm -mm. I want a piece of that. Okay. And then you got the nine of wands again. Yeah. So maybe you're worried about kids. You're worried about romance. Six of wands too though. Oh, and the emperor. You might be meeting somebody who, um, you know, is ready to like settle down and you might be like, whoa, whoa, you're moving a little bit too fast for me. Yeah. Just honestly expect the unexpected when it comes to your love life this month. Okay. Um, because things may shock you or may come out of left field. The important thing here is that you keep focus on your business, keep focus on loving yourself and let people show you who they are instead of jumping into things. All right, Sagittarius, if you want to book a live one hour reading or shop over at Starcy Jewels, take a look at the description box below. Thank you so much for everything. I am so immensely grateful for all of you. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.